Hi, I'm Kara Carrero of AlternativeLearning.com. Um, if you want to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would love it. Um, I talk about everything from eco-friendly living and natural parenting to um, education and taught school. So I would love to dive into my consultant starter kit with you. Um, if you are interested in becoming a consultant, I would encourage you to do so because I just love books and I love the idea of spreading literacy and the love of reading to children and doing it in such a fun way that you know I can make money you can make money um, and our children can benefit from it so in, in, in more ways than one you're providing books for your family something that you'll use um, which is what I love I love providing for my family monetarily and I love providing for my family and things that we need and use um, and especially as a home taught school and preschool family and future homeschool family, this is a huge asset. But you don't even have to be a homeschool family to be excited. So, let's dig in. Okay, so, first thing I see um, are some order forms, I'm sure, for home parties, um, also an invitation to the convention in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Actually, right now, I live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, but unfortunately, and I may be totally crazy for this, um, but we, in a month from today, we're probably going to be living in Boston. Um, but, so maybe that'll be another excuse to come back. Um, so, um, here's the little lie. Um, for a little bit of a, an older reader, um, an older child, one who's probably actually already reading. Um, oh, here's a touch and feel book. Great for whenever she gets a little bit older or for her older sister right now. Ooh, someone fell asleep. Um, we love touch and feel books. It's just such a, it's such a great way to get children um, interested in books because they're so interactive. You're not just reading a book and you're not just asking them questions about the book, but they're actually getting to feel it. And those sensory, um, that sensory input is going to help them be more excited about reading and it's going to help them remember the books better. Um, okay, so a consultant guide, of course, if you're going to be a consultant, you need to know what you're doing. You need to have a guide to do that. Um, home show, how to host a successful home show, and realize that home shows don't necessarily have to actually be in a home. You can have a home show that is online, which is probably what I'm going to be doing for the most part as a blogger. Um, here's some bags, so you can make some little kits. Um, and this looks like um, January through June mini catalog. Um, of course, the best way to get people excited about books is to give them a catalog. And I'm such a, a tactile learner in a lot of ways that I need to have that in my hand. Um, maybe one of the reasons why I like books. Um, but this would be a great way to get people interested. Um, then also some postcards for you're invited to my party. So for hosting those parties. Um, here's another book for an older reader, for a much older reader. Um, so see, Usborne has tons of books that are um, suitable for all ages, from, you know, newborn, um, where you're teaching them just to recognize images and everything, um, all the way up to 18 and um, homeschooling or just providing books for older children. Um, Okay, here's an Esporn Illustrated Fairy Tales. Look how beautiful this is. This will be great for like bedtime. Oh, the pictures are just exquisite, which is always fun, especially for the younger readers. Um, oh my goodness. Look at this giant, hefty science encyclopedia. Oh, and look at these beautiful pictures. This is going to be such an asset to us um, in our home library and in taught schooling and just homeschooling in general because, man, that can span so many age ranges. So excited. Um, here is a muddle and match book. Um, my daughter has some of these already, and she just absolutely adores them because um, they're just a fun way to explore reading and a fun way to mix and match things and it's not the same book every time you can make it a different book each time isn't that a fun concept um oh here's something that's not even a book which is great these are white clean cards um 50 brain games um here's a my farm animal world 
Um, oh, and look, it's, this isn't a book itself. It's got all these tiny little books inside, which is great for this age. Man, she is just out. Um, which is great for whenever they're super young and, you know, they can actually hold it and grip it. Um, we have s several of these tiny books, so I'm glad to get more. Because um, they are just something that our family loves. Let's see. Um, pamphlets to promote literacy and promote us born books. Um, a panda book. My toddler is obsessed with panda bears right now. And I'm sure that on our journey across the country, that's going to be one in the car with us that she's going to really love. Um, a Sporn step-by-step -step drawing book. So there's a great variety of different things in here, too. You can see that there's different age ranges. There's different types of books, like drawing books and like the mix and match book, encyclopedias, um, underpants for your aunts, these types of books. Um, a Sporn book of little stories. Look how beautifully bound this book is. These are just such keepsake type of books too. That's what I really love about their books. They're such quality. Um, and they just, oh, I just love them. We can pass them down and let our children keep them for their children, um, which makes any investment so, so worth it. I know that I have books that are my mother's and my grandfather's and so on and so forth, and they're just something that I treasure. You know that they read them as a child. So how exciting is it that not only can we give our children a gift of liter literacy, but we can give our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren the gift of literacy and that gift of knowing that they read something that, you know, their elders read. Oh, going back to variety, here is a hundred paper planes. This is just fun. You know, you can teach your children that books don't even have to always be just about reading, but it can be about creativity and exploring the world and exploring what you can do. And that's just really a fun concept. Um, okay, so here is a January through June. Oh, heavy. Um, hard to do with one hand and a newborn. Um, <laughs> um, bigger <laughs> catalog, guys. Um, oh, here's something fun for whenever this one gets just a little bit older. Very first book of things to spot. Um, so, oh, so cool. And, you know, there's some recess, there's some holes in it, uh, and some recessing in the pages. That's exciting. Oh, look just how beautiful this book is. That'll be very cool to share with her and with my toddler. Um, okay, these are for home parties, um, way to keep in touch with those that come, um, and your leads and wish lists so that those that come can, um, decide what they like and they can maybe order later or order now. Oh, this is such a great companion to that encyclopedia book. And look how beautiful it is. Look at those colors. Um, see inside the universe. Oh, and it's a flat book. I mean, seriously, what child does not love flat books? <laughs> what adult doesn't love flat books? Um, wow, this is just a really great, great way to explore. So much fun. Um, Secrets of the Apple Tree. That's a really fun book. Hold the page to light and see hidden habitats. How fun. I absolutely love, oh my goodness. See, I don't know if you can see that. Yes, maybe you can. Okay, so if you look at it this way, it's just a rock. But see, there's a, there's, what is that? Is that an iguana? Or, it's just a lizard. It's on the back, but if you are reading it front to back, then you can hold the light through it, and you can go ahead and see it. So I have some natural light coming through, so I can actually see it even without the flashlight. What a fabulous way to get your children interactive with books, especially young ones, especially in tot school. Um, I'm a dirty dinosaur. We have not done our dinosaur theme yet in tot school, so this will be a really, really great addition to that. And look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but each page is bound so incredibly well. And that just makes the investment, again, so awesome. Okay, it looks like this is our final one. Da -da -da -da. Okay, it's a sticker dolly dressing princesses. Oh, look how fabulous. So it's got stories in it, and it's also got stickers. Um, and in Tot School right now, we are working on encouraging independence and encouraging our daughter to dress herself. And so being able to dress things like this, I mean, 
how did they know that this would be absolutely perfect for us? So, wow. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 18, 18 awesome resources in my uh, consultant kit. And that's not even including, you know, the stuff that's for me, the stuff that is for uh, doing home shows and everything. So, so I hope that you will join me in this just awesome adventure. Um, I hope that you too um, will become a consultant. It's actually a really inexpensive start. And I'm also going to be doing a lot more with Usborn Books and More, and I am just so thrilled to be able to do that. Um, you'll be able to find more information about that on my website as well. Um, so go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, right now. You can click on your screen to find it. Um, and go ahead and head on over to alternativelearning.com. That's with two L's because it's all native learning. Um, and I am excited excited to be on this journey with you and I hope you're as excited as I am. So until next time, see you later.